is our last comedian. This is our headliner. She's awesome. She is the teacher. You saw her earlier at standupacademy.net. She's done the Riviera in Las Vegas. <laughs> .net. <laughs> She was one of the New York Post funniest people in America. She's got a CD on iTunes called Finally Style Network. So much shit. Oh yeah, she's my best friend, that's right. Please give it up, the hilarious and lovely Bobby Oliver. Body washing my private parts. <laughs> 
other selfish people. <laughs> You know, like it's gonna be good. And I say, oh no, it's not a sexual fantasy, it's a career fantasy. Right, and then I realize, you know, I have no sexual fantasies left. All of my fantasies are career fantasies. Like on the other day, I caught myself masturbating to the image of me with an Emmy. Is that wrong? I'm just kidding, y'all. over at the Hooters, and there was a sign in the window, y'all, it said, yes, we do have a children's menu. <laughs> and I thought, thank God. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure little Billy's ready to start objecting five minutes, but he can't quite finish the full plate of chicken fingers yet. <laughs> I went out with the guy one time and said, I would never marry a woman that made more money than me. I said, then you didn't cruise a homeless shelters. <laughs> Never marry a woman made more money than me, Mr. Always in the bathroom and the check comes, motherfucker. <laughs> Please your man. And I had to 
read what the secrets were, right? So I opened it up, swear to God, I'm not making it up. What are the secrets you taught us, right? What are the secrets that he won't tell you? He wants to finish on your breasts. Uh, okay, uh, first of all, I don't need a magazine to tell me a guy wants to come on my tits. Okay, that's not a secret. so pretty. I want to come all over them. Oh, your mouth is so pretty. I want to come all in it. Like, Remind me not to take you to the gate. Shit from the bedroom. <laughs> that 
shit don't fly in the kitchen. How <laughs> 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 okay, many checks, by the way? Oh, good, I have a lot. Awesome. So, uh, let's see, come on. By the way, you guys are really great. It wasn't everybody in the show, just so great tonight. <laughs> week after week for eight weeks and, and working on the sets and it takes a lot of nerve to get up here. So after me, then we're all going to have a group picture and we're going to go out in the parking lot and you're going to tell everybody how awesome they were, right? Right. All right. And if you have always wanted to do comedy or you are a hot boy in your 20s or 30s. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let's Descriptions at one time, all of which she had written herself. <laughs> she stole her doctor's prescription pad. Isn't that the best? <laughs> Check it out, she got arrested. She did, I had actually went to jail. I don't know, I guess the pharmacist got suspicious when the prescriptions just started saying, downers. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been thinking about this a lot, and I recently decided that I want my child to become a comedian. <laughs> so I started to neglect her. <laughs> I have planned a rigorous program of harsh criticism and mixed messages. <laughs> She's going to be fucking hilarious. I don't have a drink anymore. You guys ready for the last show tonight? Yeah. I'm trying to get some cheap applause. Alright, uh, right. Alright, so for a while when I was a teenager, I lived with my Southern Baptist grandmama. Oh. Party all the time. I get home one, uh, one night from a date really late and she's waiting up for me. She's freaking out, y'all. She's like, I just hope you realize that on Judgment Day, the good Lord is going to flash your life up in the sky like a movie picture for the whole world to see. <laughs> yeah, everything you ever did with any boy is going to be flashed up in the sky just like a movie. <laughs> what can I say, right? 